sometimes people think that maybe an orchestra or a chorus or, or singer could do it without the conductor, you know. Oh, why can't they just do it with a metronome, you know, ticking the time. What surprises a lot of people is that when I say that conducting is so much about driving the music, in other words, a, through your own thoughts and your sensitivity, sensibility, through your arms, through your eyes, you actually are able to express how you want the music to sound. And that happens through a magical connection of energy that goes from me to the musicians to the stage and then from the stage back to the musicians and out to the audience. So really a lot of it really comes from the podium, but without the musicians and the singers, the conductor is nothing. Barbara Seville is very tricky because, um, first of all, most of the people in the audience know the tunes and so it's very famous. People have expectations of, of how it should sound, how it should be, and therefore putting your personal stamp on it can be challenging. Technically, it's very difficult to play and to sing because it's bel canto and therefore you need to, to have the chops to do it. It's brilliant music, it's very light, but yet very difficult. The orchestra here is really exciting. It's a great group of musicians. They are technically super. Since the first day we met, um, the energy was very positive and they respond immediately to, to anything you ask them. I've, I've really enjoyed working with, working with this orchestra. They're really top, top, top class.